to turn. Unless this guy's spine's made out of rubber, I usually have to take one of my legs out to turn him, but we'll get to that point eventually. Right now, we're just gonna break this guy down with one leg and a back hook. So I'm gonna double five fry and jam. I'm gonna swing my boot in. I want you to do your stand-up drill every time. Now, if my right leg's in, I'm going to cross his body with my right arm. My elbow's gonna drop in his armpit, and I'm gonna snake down to his wrist. I didn't say hook at his elbow. I said snake to his wrist. Notice both my feet are still in the mat. What's so important about my feet being in the mat? I can add, I'm athletic, I can generate power, I can change direction, I'm in good shape. So my feet are in the mat. My ankles aren't crossed and I'm just sitting on his back. Okay, feet are in the mat. That's why the short leg ride is so much better than this cross body ride. Because the cross body ride limits my ability to turn. I, I'm always gonna be feeling like I'm falling to my right and my feet aren't set in the mat. Okay? Cross body ride, you can turn people with. I'm not saying it's bad, but I want my saddle straight. Right arm, right leg, cross the body, elbow in the armpit, snake to the wrist. I'm gonna drive forward, pull that arm to me, cross my ankles right here to my right. Okay? Once we have this guy broken down, see how his arms are ready by his side when I broke him down? Once I break him down, I'm just gonna come up under his chin to his shoulder right here, but I'm gonna put my knuckles in his face first. Most guys try to fight this shoulder, okay? His shoulder's pretty strong. So I'm gonna come under his chin, not his armpit, under his chin, I'm gonna make knuckles, and I'm gonna make him look away, okay? I'm gonna make a fist, I'm gonna put my knuckles in his cheek, I'm gonna make him look away, and I'm gonna shock his back, right here. See how my knees get wide? There's my belt buckle facing the mat, my chest facing the mat. Right here, I'm in good shape. This is why this position is so important, because if I'm here, and I'm footballing the head, and I'm, hooking the arm and all this stuff, and he fights and turns into me. See how my chest's up? What do I have now? What move do I have now? A turk, right? I have a turk, and then I just start driving off my free foot, okay? So not only did I not put myself on my hip, so he turns into me and reverses me and catches me on my back, but I put my chest and my hips and my legs in a good position to where if he does start fishing out and turn into me, I just bring my chest over the top of his and I keep, keep him on his back, okay? That's what good top guys do. They have an answer for everything this bottom guy's gonna do. Remember, it's, it's just a big gigantic problem solving duel. Double side pride, swing the boot, stand up. Right leg, right arm, cross the body, elbow arm kick, Snake to the wrist. Drive, 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 drive. Arm drops. I'm arching. See how my knees aren't 